welcome. Please subscribe to support my channel. Today you will learn how to develop a program patch making it a pro or premium version of the trial software you have selected, but first you will need a debugger I recommend using x64 dbg the download link can be found in this video description below or on screen. Then we must install it and if you haven't already installed your target trial software to be crack patched then you must do that as well. I will show you how to get x64 dbg installed and running. You must run x64 dbg as an administrator to access process memory at the kernel level, so click run as admin. I'm going to use plist explorer for this demonstration. If you have already installed your target program to be patched well done I just need to set up my target software so we can begin. Plist editor is a tool for opening and editing Apple device plist files on a Windows operating system. It was developed by Vow Software Studio for more information see the description below. First we need to find a clue of what happens when the wrong registration code or details are attempted. From there we can begin to disassemble the software to reverse engineer a patch that will bypass the registration process that the application has been instructed to perform. On the target software find the register option and attempt entering the required name code it asks for. We want to find out what message string it returns when a wrong entry has been made. Then we will write down that error message string like this. So we now know that the wrong registration code returns a string informing the user of an incorrect entry. And we have written down the error message that it returned within its procedure call. So we have begun reverse engineering the software. Once you have written down the error string for the program you're patching we can continue. Must have software you want to patch running, now click file then attach process to target executable so we can begin debugging to find address offsets needed to patch the program to a pro version. 
On x64dbg you will find under file menu an option to attach so click that and find in the process list the target software you wish to patch. This will attach x64dbg to the kernel memory process giving us access to the memory registers and program instruction offsets. You should now be attached and displayed on the CPU tab at the top of x64dbg from here we now want to do a literal string search for our error message previously we wrote down. So we will need to click the right mouse button to reveal the context menu and navigate down to search for and then across to all modules. This will commence the search procedure which will instruct x64dbg to find all literal strings within the target application and all of its resource dependencies for the string that we will input once it has completed its search. So be patient and let it search completely before we proceed. Now that all the strings have been found we can enter our search string to be found which will show us the address offset and the instruction that calls it. If your machine has not yet completely searching for strings in your target program just pause the video to catch up. At the bottom in x64dbg input the error message you wrote down earlier. x64 will then attempt to match it to one of the strings it has found. You should be able to find and now see the error message that gets called when an incorrect registration code is entered. Now you have found the address of the instruction set that calls the error message we need to find the function. Within x64dbg is displayed the OP code which is an assembly language that the program initiates for the kernel processor to operate with. We need to find the instruction that is called instead of our error message function. This function we are looking for is for if the registration details entered are correct. This is the method of by which we will create our patch. Within the same memory region we will find the success message that would be called if we had entered the right register code. So we shall scroll down till we find where our jump function will navigate to once we create it. I have located where the success function is called have you located it within your target program if not yet just keep looking you can pause the video and I will wait for you here. An easy method is to trace down the left side on the CPU tab and see the jump functions and instruction calls the jumps are displayed in red by default. So now we have located the success message we now need to see its address offset for us to make a jump procedure from the original error message function. Scroll back up once you have found the success message for your target application back to the error message. and then to the call that precedes the error. Click the call and change it from what it is to a JMP. You should now see an altered function also with where it will jump to on the left side. Follow the jump and the additional procedures that come after the jump to verify that it is going to jump to the correct address offset. To alter the function call just double click the operational code and change it from what it is normally starting with J to JMP and press enter then cancel when it asks to do the next. You have now changed the function. With this new function it should jump to where it has been instructed and it will be followed by the procedure that was proceeds that call. Verify this on the left in red.
One final visible verification we will do. Next scroll up to our altered function and on the mouse right click and go to patches or you just press Ctrl and P simultaneously the keyboard. X64DBG will then display a dialog box with options to create the patch and show you which op codes will be altered. If you agree with the changes that are going to be made press enter and select a name and save location for the newly created patch. If you have made it this far then you are almost at the final stage, you should now have a rough understanding of the processes involved in reverse engineering some program or application, for the purpose of including or modification of the original instruction set within that said target application. For the purpose of creating a premium or pro version of the original trial freeware software. A modified version of the application that you are working with will VE now have been created containing the registration bypass instructions that you injected into the executable. That newly developed patched software version will be in the location you saved it. You can now detach the kernel process from memory in x64dbg and close the x application or continue to patch another piece of software. To detach the kernel debugger it is the same process as attaching except the next option down in the file menu or optionally pressing on the keyboard simultaneously the keys control alt f2. To run the new patched program just verify that it is in the location same as the target application executable that you chose to patch. Rename the original to example unpatchedtrial version.exe and rename the new patched software to the same name as the target before you renamed it. Just run the program from its saved location the best procedure is to either rename the original trialware version to something and then rename the patched version to hold the name of the original software. Then you can test the application and verify that the code that you just patched successfully functions as you had thought it should or wanted it to. Now I will demonstrate the procedure of renaming the original and the patched version of your target application modified software and how to execute this new application version which with any luck does what you we hope it should. Some application developers include software instructions to proxy or conceal the op code and memory address offsets locations, this is just a brief demo of a basic software modification. Important note. Any modified software is not permitted by law to be resold or distributed by any person without the permission by the owner or developer. Including for monetary gain. I hacked much do not endorse or encourage piracy or any kind of copyright infringing. Behavior. This tutorial is solely for the purpose of discussion and learning the workings of software. Hopefully you have learned something new and it has been what you're looking for. If this tutorial was informative and you enjoyed viewing it please share it with your people and don't forget to subscribe to support my channel. Thanks for watching I'm Hacked Moch for more tutorials on this topic or anything else please feel free to leave a comment in the video description or by send me email.